world. I'll search my loft. What could it be? Mm. We've got to wait like half a year now <laughs> to find out. Uh, now, I don't know what the technical term for this is, but it's been coming down in sheets out there this it's afternoon. It's been horrible this morning, yeah, and further heavy bursts of rain across parts of North Yorkshire this afternoon, but gradually the rain is going to ease away, albeit a fairly slow process in places. And then tomorrow, another band of rain, and the same again on Friday. Tomorrow's, though, looks more light and patchy, though it will be breezier. So you can see still some heavy bursts of rain across the north, a lot of cloud, mist and murk further south, damp, drizzly conditions, but everything improving slightly as we head through the afternoon as that main body of rain clears away north. We might even get some decent dry breaks in the cloud too across parts of South Yorkshire. Temperatures getting up to around 13 degrees, the breeze light from the south, 13 is 55 Fahrenheit. So into this evening, we'll see these clear spells in the south pushing northwards. And underneath those clear spells with a light breeze and quite wet surfaces, I think we'll get some mist and fog patches. Then the breeze will pick up and further uh, band of cloud will push in from the west. Temperatures overnight a little cooler than last night, particularly early on in the night, 7 or 8 degrees. So tomorrow a breezy day to come with a band of rain spreading eastwards. Initially some heavier spells, but it will weaken, mainly light and patchy, and it will begin to clear away eastwards through the course of the afternoon. Behind it, the breeze will begin to ease. Temperatures tomorrow getting up to around 12 or 13 degrees once again. So looking further ahead on Friday, we start the day with some heavy spells of rain. Gradually through the day, that rain will ease. And then something of an improvement for the weekend, a lot of dry and bright weather to come. It might just be that through Saturday afternoon, we get a little bit of drizzle to the dales and the moors. But generally, it looks pretty decent for the weekend. Thank you very much, Keely. It did tweet me and say, have they found Paul Hudson's wallet? <laughs> which is a good suggestion, really. A million pounds. Well, the amount of tea he buys for everybody, well, which is be. zero, yeah. it probably could yeah. be. So he's good saving point, it all, is he? The tightest man in Yorkshire. I bet he's got a real You fat can't wallet. say in that. The <laughs> in the world. Thank you. Right. He's, all, he's out of the country. It's fine. Um, let's take a little look at some photos. The first one, actually, there's going to be quite a few scenes like this. Block drains, very typical for this time of year, particularly now we've got our first spell of, of real wet weather. So we've got uh, quite a lot of leaves on the ground. So quite Quite a lot of big puddles over the next few days. That was taken in Rothwell in Leeds. Uh, the second picture, the moon earlier this week over Lowmore in Bradfield. Apparently it's floodlit by the local football stadium. Uh, and the third picture, uh, yesterday at Derwent Reservoir, um, Simon Bull sent this picture in and he says it's very low, only 41% full at the moment. We have, of course, had uh, some very dry weather so far this autumn, but my, it's changed uh, through today. You can keep your pictures coming in. Paul, the weatherman at bbc.co.uk, or you can tweet him at Hudson Weather. Give him a bit of grief, or you can tweet me at Keely Donovan. So, the forecast for tomorrow. Similar to today in that it will be quite damp and cloudy, breezier tomorrow though, and I don't think the rain's going to be quite as heavy as it was today, but further spells of heavy rain to start the day on Friday, quite a blustery spell of weather then too, but then things tending to settle down for the weekend with high pressure building in from the south, so it might actually, by the time we get to the weekend, we've got a lot of dry and mild weather to come. So you can see all the cloud on the satellite picture, this strip of cloud that brought us the rain through the course of the morning and on into the afternoon, and some of it really was quite heavy. There's now clear spells out there at the moment. But because of all the wet surfaces, I think what we'll find is quite a lot of mist and murk developing. That'll all be mixed up, though, by the end of the night as the breeze freshens and this band of cloud and a little patchy rain just start to edge onto the Pennines. Perhaps a cooler night than last night as well because we'll have those clear skies for a time, 7 or 8 degrees the low. So the sun will rise in the morning at 7 o'clock, setting again at 4.39. And those are your high waters in Filey at 5 to 5 in the morning. So we'll start the day with a lot of cloud, quite a breezy affair too. And then this band of rain tracks eastwards. Initially, there could be some heavier spells in it, but I think it'll weaken as it does track eastwards. And you can see through the afternoon, brighter skies developing from the west. Quite blustery through the morning, but that breeze easing down through the afternoon and still not cold. Around 13 degrees. Thank you, Keely. Just going back to our top story, actually, about the junior doctors' protest. We'll have more on that in the late look north. That's at about 10.25 okay. tonight. Okay, we've got an update, of course, at 8 o'clock as well. So enjoy the rest of your evening. If you're going to York, enjoy the lights. We'll oh, see you yeah. tomorrow. Bye-bye. <laughs> is it coming? No, it certainly is not. But the good news is actually the rain we've got over the next few days is going to be through the morning, so not the evening. Uh, so that'll be nice for uh, the Light Festival in New York. Tomorrow, a lot of cloud around. It'll be breezy too, and there will be some outbreaks of rain, becoming lighter and patchier as they track eastwards through the course of the day. And then another spell of rain to greet us on Friday. This time, it will be quite heavy. It'll also be quite windy as well, but that will gradually ease through the day. Out there at the moment, clear skies mean with damp surfaces, some patchy mist and fog. And there could be the odd shower tracking through overnight as well. More cloud from the west later, 
and the breeze will start to pick up as well, but that will mix up the mist and the murk. Temperatures dropping back to around 7 or 8 degrees. So tomorrow, a cloudy, breezy day with this band of rain pushing eastwards. Some heavier spells at first, but it will become lighter and patchy and gr gradually ease away. The breeze will ease out behind it and temperatures will lift to around 13 degrees. That's it.